had some mic issues going on. Nothing in chat, so that's good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let me just check my dashboard real quick. Streaming beautiful. Thank you guys, and let's get started. So for this, I want I love playing on bigger maps, so I am actually going to play on the huge map, Spiral Forearms for more diversity. Hey I am parents, let's take it up a little bit. Seventeen. And five of you can have advanced starts. Four fallen empires, that's gonna be great. The Marauder Empires, three of those. Everything else I like to keep pretty much the same. We will be playing on Commodore, so it's about just your normal. Nothing hard, nothing too easy. Um, and so it looks good. Advanced neighbors are on. Random placement. Let's get going. Welcome to Stellaris Distant Stars, everybody. New expansion just came out today. I am very, very excited for this game. And for what we can do with the Democratic Kadeshi worlds. I have not played any of this at the moment so we will see all the new features together I'm not guaranteeing I'm gonna be good at this I just play this game for fun so let's go And here we are, the Democratic Kadeshi Worlds. Our ruler is Jonah, capital of Resh. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, Gaia World Preference, okay. In the eons since the first primitive Kadeshi communities took shape in the idyllic valleys and lush forest of Resh, our civilization has spread and prospered. The vast world we call home has always been a paradise to our kind, and as our scientific knowledge progressed, we began to see patterns in the biosphere that could not have been natural. Did some unknown entity create this world specifically for us? Are we playing a part in a greater design? Regardless of its origin, our people have thrived in the pleasant climate and gentle environment of our home world. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the democratic Kadeshi worlds have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are within our grasp. Okay, we are going to hit begin here and keep it paused. This is our home world of Resh. First, we will take a look at this. As I said, this is different. Being a Gaian world, it's huge. So we have some mines and energy. Things are going to be okay. Start with a, and a science ship. So, uh, Omax, perfect, beautiful. Spaceports is where you will do your science ship and construction ship and colony ships. We won't be using the colony ship a lot, but you never know. Maybe we'll find some guy worlds right off the bat. Now you're wondering, okay, where are the regular ships? That's what our shipyard is for. We can buy our Corvettes here. Later on, destroyers and cruisers, so that's where we do that. We already have three cruisers. It's a nice little system here. And let's zoom out. Okay, so we're right on a choke point. I like being right there. And as you can see, in previous games, all these hyperlane windows, they you can see them all, all the way through. Now you can only see a little bit of them. Discovery is going to be huge. So let's go into research now. So, for this, I'm going to go with the physics lab, because research is going to be very important. But I'm... Mm, I really like getting it, because money is always right now. So, we're actually going to start with field mod modulation. This guy's awesome, so he gives me extra research speed. Very intelligent. Re so, even more research speed. This guy is focused in industry. This, as I said, we are going... Unity all the way. For this, we do have engine. Yeah, we'll go with that. I like it. So we are going to start here on this new distance stars.
Okay. First things first, unpause. Put that on two. Sideship, I want you to go over here to this trinary system. That looks cool. So let's get that rolling. Let's also build up a little more monies. So let's find out which one. Yes. Darmog's Frontier. I'm going to build a mining station right here. And away we go. Let's all enjoy the vast beauty of this system and what we can discover. Soon, though, at 200, I will get another science ship because this... I want to go quicker science-wise. Let's take a look in here. This new, new trinary system. Look, it's got three suns. How about that? That's new. They put that in this game just... Just with this expansion. Let's see, should I clear out any of this stuff? I think I will clear out the money here. Just to help out a little bit for our growing population. Construction complete. All right, so our construction has been complete of that mining station. Let's go now get some regular minerals to Terza. Is that, oh, it's Tetlar's palace. Yeah, give me some minerals. Tetla. And if you do ever see the screen go down just for a few seconds, it's me checking the chat. I only have one screen right now, and I can't get chat up here with this full screened game going on, so I just want to let you know that, and for full disclosure. So, yep, let's just move it up one more because it's still a little slow in the beginning. Exploration is a slow thing. Speed it up as fast as we can go. Right now, we're just sitting around waiting. Oh, yes, in the um, new situation, look, the anomalies tab, which we haven't found any yet, but when we do, they will be listed here and be so much easier to find. And they have been completely. Overhaul. Complete. Let me pause this real quick and talk about the new Anomalies tab. In previous versions of Stellaris, Anomalies only could only be done by a scientist with a certain level. That is out the door now. So, like, say you had a level 3 Anomaly you found, but you only had a level 1 or level 2 science. He could not do that until he became level 3. So, now they've overhauled it to where... Even a level 1 person can do like a level 5, level 6, and I think they even go up to level 10 now, Anomalies. But it takes a long, long, long time for lower people to do higher ones. So it still has that balance of you should be kind of close to your level doing those Anomalies. But you can still do them, it just takes so much more time. So I like it. I haven't tried it out yet, but in the previews I saw it looks pretty cool. And... Plus, sometimes you just want to leave them for a while. You can find them all right here. Anyways, victory conditions. There are three of them. Domination, 40% of the habitable planets. Conquest, every other empire. And Federation, 60% of habitable planets. Okay. We'll see how it goes. But here we go, back to work. This is a really, really energy-rich system right here. Okay. Let's get our construction ship out there as soon as it's done. Because that is going to be super important to grab. So let's go ahead and get him moved. I think 
think I, with you growing, I want you actually to be on energy. It's gonna be a really nice system once it's fully surveyed. And very close, actually. Yep. So let's go ahead and. Oh, they're only a hundred. I thought they were two hundred. They must have. I'm not sure how either they put it down. But I love that. Oh no, that that's not it. I have, that's a scientist. I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. Don't worry about me. I'm stupid sometimes. <laughs> System survey complete. See, okay, here we go, guys. Anomaly, first one. And these are all new. They added thousands of anomaly. Look, I'm only a skill one, right? Okay. 180 days. That's six months, basically. And six months goes by really fast, so... It's a routine. It's not hard. I'll do it. But this is what I'm talking about. New system completely. Let's do it. Unpause. I'll be there for six months. You, sir, my construction ship, will build my star base outpost so that I can expand my borders. Yeah! Let's go! Science ship is almost ready. It is now ready. Per perfect. Now to assign the leader. I cannot recruit another scientist because they're all 200. That's what I was talking about. And I am going to get this guy. When I can. In about two months. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Halfway through the month, guys. We're getting there. Very, very close. I'm actually going to move this down just one here. And we got it. This is all our money for him. Put him on the ship. And I'm actually going to have him go survey a, a bunch of shit. Construction complete. see what happens and look at that beautiful my borders have expanded I am now in between two arms Perfect, so I do have those science ships going out. Do we have enough material to build on some more energy? I think we do. We're going to go do this on Satrinius A. Let's do it. Found some alien life already. How about that? It's fascinating. Just fascinating. Gives us some society research. Okay, this scientist has done his job over here. I... Oh, seem native to deep space. They make it extremely fine. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna have th this guy come all over here, Veldenor, and I want you to go over here. I don't want to quite get any vision yet. Just kind of want to survey this area and get over to this other trisun, trinary system. Alright, do that for me. How's the population move going? Yes! As I said, guys, unity. Ascension. This is what it's about. Right here. Now, these are all the different ways that you can go down your unity tree. In this game, there's a huge, huge thing about discovering things. So I might just take that because I love doing that myself. Faster survey speed. And if you run any monsters you have, your science ship can't handle, they have a 50% increased chance of getting away instead of dying, which sucks. Which also leads to 
assisting research like if you're searching planets it helps your research that's just wonderful alternatives by one so when i first brought up all the research we had like three or four this means we'll have another one to choose from which gives us better options for how we want to do our empire experience gain so that they learn quicker and that will definitely help with the anomalies so that it doesn't take as long faith in science which is basically we gain unity equal to three months of science <laughs> every time we produce a new technology it's ridiculously awesome harmony though if we want to continue continue our leaders lifespans governing the traffic unrest this stuff's all about basically paradise what we are I'm actually gonna go here and get discovery real quick research speed quicker this is wonderful okay back to the grind Arcturus, okay. And Rostaban. <laughs> Another nice little energy system. <laughs> this game can be a little long, drawn out. Construction complete. Boring at times. Not boring to me, but like, if you're just watching. There are times where it's a little slow. But that's a-okay. Let us actually... Some more energy, buddy. We have the materials for it, so let's do it. System survey complete. Okay, not a bad system at all. I think I'm gonna get a construction ship when I get 100 minerals, just to help out as we expand. Influence. That's how we spread our starvation. Oh, two worlds. Neither of which we can use as own is tropical and one is alpine. As I said, we are doing life seeded, which only Gaian planets. Usually you start with like either tropical or an alpine, and you've got hab habitability range from like, like 80 down to 20% of habit habitability. With Gaian worlds in this life seeded thing, you only want Gaian worlds. You are at 0% for every other kind tropical, alpine, arid, all those, tundra. Yeah, not allowed. So it's going to be exciting to see how that plays out. You can still expand your empire. You don't need a bunch of ones, but it's different. Okay, you are doing your thing. I'm doing my thing. Construction complete. Beautiful. I'm gonna expand to right here because it's a choke pointy thing. But then, yeah. Do we want to see what's up here first? So, before we do anything. Look like our churches is being. There's not much going on in our churches. There's a lot of planets though. And this design, man, look at this. How beautiful did the dev team do? Oh, hello, we have a comment sighted, everybody. A light was seen moving in the night sky of Resh. It's gentle lark standing in the stark contrast to the slow revolution of the stars. The citizens of Resh see it as proof of recognition by the powers that be and a subtle bloody blessing of our cause. Indeed, 5% happiness. I love it. That's how we want to start. But as I was saying, the developing team, Paradox, wonderful. They, wow, it's beautiful. That's what I've really loved about this game is not only the exploration, but their beautiful design. Like, you scroll in, you, they took some work on this stuff. Oh, Veldenar, what did you get? Industry. Well, that doesn't really help me at all. Unless my other industry guy dies, but he'll be fine. See? Now he's two traits. He's gonna live longer. Which is great. 
And he's a level 2 now. So he's got faster research speed and sir. Oh, wow. I used to not be on there as well. That is also an update telling you what his effects are. That's cool. So the higher level, the faster you do that. Beautiful. I love it. Paradox has done outdone themselves this time. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go Paradox. I think I will get to the Arcturus system here. And let's go ahead and build our Starbase Outpost. Let's expand a little farther. Oh, see, and as my science ship gets closer, I am now opening up other lanes. I can see a little bit farther than I used to. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Oops, that shipyards. Still taking your time. Takes them a little bit of time to grow, but that is okay. We're doing good on food. Actually, with the food thing, it does help. How you food. For growth speed, but if you wanted to slow down your growth speed some, which is also something you might want to think about with Gaia Worlds, because you might run out of spaces at some point and not find another Gaia World is increasing the stored food capacity to like a thousand. So it'll slow growth speed, but right now we're okay. Oh, unpause. My bad. Hey guys, I think I'm going to put a cut in here, and in just a few minutes I will be back on streaming, and we'll see how we do with the Democratic Kadeshi world. Thank you for viewing. I'll be back later. Hold on one second. One more second. Just kidding, guys. There. Pause.